I figured that for this stream, we'll just do a, a recap on what you can do with Gen Fill in Photoshop. So one of the things that you can actually do with Gen Fill AI is create composites. In this image, you can see that the foreground element and the background element have very similar lighting styles. If yeah. this was a nighttime shot, it probably wouldn't work as well. Her horizon line is right about yeah. here. So we need to match those so that it's in the uh, appropriate areas. So we're gonna have to replace the sky as well. What we need to do is lasso tool and I'm gonna make a selection and I'm actually gonna go into the tree line because again, we want to replace the sky. So there you go, oh. selection is there. If you feel like you go into an area where you made a mistake, you can hold Alt on Windows, Option uh -huh. on the Mac, click and drag to subtract, uh -huh. boom. And all I need okay. to do now is click on Generator Fill, click on Generate and don't type anything in the prompt, let Photoshop oh, okay. do its magic. What's, uh, what's gonna happen? We'll see. So now we can select from one of the variations, right? But I can just make a selection here, click on Generator Fill, and I'll just type something like lake. You know, maybe there's a lake there to the <laughs> next to the Eiffel Tower now. It's just that easy. There you go, look at that. Is this already included in Photoshop? Yes! Mm -hmm. Download the latest Photoshop now. It's there, available for everybody. Full version, no longer in beta. Yes. And best of all, available for commercial use. With the crop tool, we now have this option here called generative expand and click and drag out and then I'll generate. I kind of like this one, but I really don't like yeah. the hand. So what we could do is we can just come in here, maybe it's selfie, just, there you go, we were able to expand it. Another thing that you can do in Photoshop that a lot of people don't know about is you can actually import video. So I have a video file here of this bicyclist coming along, that's the footage, right? portrait. You can now just expand this out like so and I'll commit the changes. So notice that the uh, generator fill layer here, it's it's not going to the beginning of the video, right? So I just got to drag that over here and look at that. Oh there, my gosh. There it is. I'm going to hit play. And there she No! <laughs> Crazy, <laughs> right? So awesome. Yeah. In this image, we have this gentleman walking through the street and he's wearing you know, white jeans and his hand looks a little distracting. Oh. I don't know, let's have him hold um, a cup of coffee. And by the way, selections are important. So like, I usually like to like draw it out, you know? So like a cup about that big, I would say, junior fill. And I'm just gonna type the word coffee, holding a cup yeah. of coffee. Blue jeans. There you go. I like those jeans better. <laughs> <laughs> we can also do things to the background. Pro tip, you start with the polygonal lasso tool click and it draws these straight lines, right? I'm sure we've all seen that before. But if you hold the Alt key on Windows, which is the Option key on the Mac, yeah. it'll allow you to just freehand. Oh. And then you can go back by releasing the Alt key yeah. to the straight lines. So I made that selection there and includes that couple walking there. And now I'm gonna type in something like, I don't know, like a Venetian canal. You can see in how we were easily uh, able to change essentially the location of this photo. If I do something that looks like this and just type the word fish, oh. notice one thing, if this was a realistic photo, the intensity underwater will be different than the intensity on top, oh, okay. right? Yeah. Make it all black because you don't want to select anything. And then this top part here, uh, where the fish is gonna jump off, that one will be completely white at 100%. And then down here where the fish is underwater, we can do a different percentage. Whoa. See that? This looks more realistic now. See the, the bottom part? Okay, let me show you guys yeah. something in Firefly. I'm just gonna cool. set, do something like modern living room with a fireplace. And I'll make it into a widescreen and a photo. Picking one that had a fireplace obviously on the left. The fireplace is not on the right or in the middle. It's obviously on the left, right? So use as, as reference image. It's gonna create similar images where the fireplace will be on the left. When you click on this thumbnail, you'll get this little reference image thing, right? So by default, it's right in the middle. I can now come in here, and instead of saying modern living room, I can say something like Victorian. Now, do I want it to reference more the, the reference image or the prompt? Well, maybe the prompt a little more. So when I click on generate, there you go. See, fireplace on the left, and it Whoa. looks like a Victorian living room, right? When we're working with gen fill, we might wanna add an element, right? So why don't I add like, an old red truck, right? What if we just move it here and maybe, you know, make it larger See, or I whatever. Mean... So select subject to have the AI make the selection for us. And then we can click on uh, delete the layer mask, the original layer mask, 
and then just make that into a layer mask and there it is with the brush tool we can work on like the details right because the grass you know we still want some of those shadows right so we can just paint with white on this that is insane thank you jesus Ramirez, for, for jumping on this was the best this is exactly what i needed i think this is what everybody <laughs> needed it's the perfect way to end thanks everybody yeah.